Hello and welcome to IT Army. Now one of the most frequently asked question to me is how to find out why my PC is slow. Now there is no straightforward answer to this question but in this video I'm going to give you some guidelines to find out that why your PC is slow. Now before creating this video I did kind of research to find out what other YouTubers have created already content but what I found out that most of the YouTubers they have just straight away given you tips and tricks to delete some file or uninstall some applications or do some more setting changes without actually finding out that why PC is slow you are going or what kind of resources so if your CPU utilization is high or your RAM utilization is high or your disk utilization is high so they are just giving you some simple trips and tricks to um, follow without actually finding out that why PC is slow so in this video I'm gonna go do kind of a diagnostic that finding out if your PC is slow how to find out that you are running out of what kind of resources and then how to fix that issue so without further ado let's get started okay so here i'm on my laptop it is a toshiba laptop it's pretty old i'll show you first of all the system specs i can go to ms info 32 and here you can see that i have windows 10 professional installed here and it is i3 generation 4 it has got only 4 gigabytes of ram so and it has got a hard disk not an ssd so performance wise is pretty slow so for that finding out if your PC is slow the first thing that you need to do is go to the task manager to go to the task manager you can simply press ctrl shift escape key to go to the task manager or you can simply right click on the taskbar and click task manager from here so over here you can get to the details that you can see what all different processes are running and you can sort them in terms of CPU or memory or disk and here you can see that the CPU utilization is high you can see over here no application is running but still it is consuming around 40 to 50 percent of my CPU and memory is okay normally Windows takes that much amount of memory you can see in graphical representation over here the CPU is going pretty high and memory is from for around 50 percent of the memory is getting utilized and disk utilization is almost nil so what we need to do is we need to fix that what application or um, what driver is consuming that process so in this case if i go to processes you're gonna see that there is no specific application utilizing those system resources it's only system or system interrupts that are taking most amount of memory rest is just one or two percent of percentage of uh, cpu consumed by other applications so if you see some application and you want to find out details about that application you have options available you can uh, simply right click that application and then we have option for searching online you can search online that what is that application and if you don't need it if it is shady you can just uninstall that application and if you don't get enough details that what process or what application what process is going on behind the scene you can also go into further details by clicking on resource monitor and from here you can find out that what different processes are running you can see the disk utilization that if disk io is going high which files are being written or read so you can sort in terms of descending order in terms of ascending order utilization read or write or total disk io and then you can find out that what location it is and uh, what programs are stored in that location uh, you can also give in more details using cpu or memory or disk different tabs are there you can get the details so in my particular case i'm familiar with that the the utilization is going high over here is because i need to update my bios so I have already downloaded the BIOS so you can see as of now before installation I have 38% uh, CPU being utilized so you can go to manufacturers website and download the drivers latest drivers from here I have already checked from the manufacturers website that I need a BIOS update so uh, let me check again I'll show you in MS Info 32 the driver version embedded controller version as of now you can see is showing version 1.0 and I have an update over there so I'll just install it and then I will come back on this PC so uh, let's go to documents I have dumped my application and downloads over here this is the driver 
and I will run this. This requires power cable to be plugged in. So if I have unplugged it, if I run this software, it's going to give you a message. Do you want to update the BIOS? Yes. And started running the application. And now you can see that it's saying that you cannot do this patch until you have the power club plugged in. So I'll just plug in the power cable and click on the retry button. And now it has started the installation as giving you some warnings that you don't have to restart. Uh, don't unplug the power cable. So I'll just click on OK and the patching process will start. Now, when this patching is done, uh, we will restart the machine again. I'm going to show you the CPU utilization. Okay, so once the patching is done, it simply switches off the PC in the laptop. You can see over here it's powered off. If I just power it on again, it switches on, but I don't see anything on the screen. You can see it's not showing anything on the screen. I just need to power it off again, and again, I'll be powering it on. So I don't see anything, I'll just power it off. Keep on pressing the power button. It's powered off and again I will power it on and once it is up again I'm gonna show you the performance okay so now it's starting and once it started I'm gonna show you the performance that the CPU utilization is gonna go down to uh, one or two percent Okay, so it's started and now if I go to the task manager to see the process utilization, just right click on the taskbar and go to task manager. And let's just give a couple of minutes to settle it down. And you can see now the CPU utilization has gone down. And if we have a look in the system information, if I go to run MS Info 32, there you're gonna see that showing you that we have updated version version 2.0 over here, embedded controller version 2.0. And now you can see the, the CPU utilization has gone pretty low. Uh, I can give a couple of minutes more and then you're gonna see that it's almost two to three percent when it is idle. Over here on the graphical representation also you can see it's going low. As of now it's just started so it's performing a lot of IO operations. And from here yeah, you can get that the overall CPU utilization has gone down. I'll just a couple of minutes and I'll be back after uh, five to 10 minutes once it is uh, settled. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, you can see that the CPU is almost one to 2% and disk utilization is also one to 2%. So this is how we can troubleshoot if your performance of your PC is slow. You need to find out what resource utilization is going high. It's CPU or memory or disk or network. So hope you like this video. If you have any other question or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.